Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Single Player NFT Gamers page. And in today's video, I'm going to be reading a Medium article presented to us by the Star Metaverse Project uh, developers. All right, let's just jump right into it. What is this? Something brand new that was written on January 20th that I'm going to be reading to you today. Pilot Tales, Change of Fortune, Episode 1. Worm Byte presents stories from the Warp Nexus. New episodes of Pilot Tales released Thursdays. Okay, so Adventures of the Warp Nexus. That's what I'm talking about. This is some lore. I'm about to read in the lore. The, cre the creative minds behind Warp Nexus are excited to give the Starl community early access to the amazing universe of Warp Nexus in the form of weekly series of episodic fiction entitled Pilot Tales. In our debut story, we meet a pilot trying to put bad luck in the rear view screen and finally get a step or two toward prosperity. In the coming months, this series will feature immersive stories set in the Warp Nexus game universe, providing early insight into the exciting world that is being imagined and designed ex exclusively for this community. Now that sounds really hype to me. Let's continue on. We hope you enjoy the first installment of the series. Here we go. Change of Fortune by Michael Azzolino. Let's check out this star art. Cool. Now let's check it out here. So look, our uh, avatars will have hair like Elvis Presley. But you know, I'm going to need a disco diva kind of hair, personally, if I'm going to put hair on the helmet. But just look, customization, bam. That's all I wanted to say. Cool, cool, real cool. All right. Episode one. And also, guys, I might, you know, make my voice funny for different, you know, this is story time, you know. Episode one. The console vibrated with the slow and steady thrumming under his fingertips. He was once again struggling to complete the manifest request process. Glancing at all the boxes on the screen, trying to make sure he doesn't make the same error as last time. The shapes on the screen are oddly reminiscent of the colorful images of his favorite puzzle game, where the goal is to stack falling blocks in organized rows. Like Tetris? His mind begins to stray. Captain's name? Asked a synthesized voice. Oh, my bad. Captain's name? Asked a synthesized voice emitting from the tiny speaker. It it repeated the question a second or perhaps a third time, perhaps pulling him from the depths of his thoughts. More likely, it was the pilot waiting in line behind him who gave his shoulder a less than gentle shove. Tuttle, um, Arvin Tuttle and, and I uh, hold no ranks or titles that I'm aware of. The machine stopped humming for just a moment or two, followed by a thud and then another, louder thud. A wide door at the base of the machine opened with a whine, revealing an interior compartment. A document tube drops into view and comes to rest in the slot. Arvin blinked hard a few times. He couldn't believe that he couldn't believe what he was seeing. It's never worked in the past, he thought, or maybe he said it out loud. He wasn't sure. He looked back smiling, giving the pilot behind him the thumbs up. The man did not share his amusement. Pack your hold. We don't have a cycle. His volume and anger rising with each passing second. Arvin snatched the dock tube and double timed away from the line without looking back. He needed to head in the direction of the shipyards to deliver the tube, but the pains in his empty stomach insisted on imminent attention calculating a slight detour in his route to take him past a pantry kitchen close by where his friend works as a cook. Ooh, I wonder if we can actually do these things in the metaverse. Arvin found himself between pay cycles and running uh, leaner than he ever had in the past. He recently gambled and lost what little savings he had accumulated on a risky investment hauling commodities through a huge asteroid field. Oh, I thought he was talking about, you know, investing in garbage uh, projects such as Piedmont's NFT and Journey to Godhood on wax because those are awful investments of mine. I'm glad he didn't uh, endure that bullshit. 
That didn't turn out so well, and now Arvin was forced to make hard choices. He hated having to ask a friend for favors. He ran through the scenario in his head a few times. He felt himself frown and could also hear his friend's cybernetically enhanced voice in his head saying, Alone is alone, whether you spend it, eat it, or fly away in it. LOL, I don't know. <laughs> oh, funny robot. The pantry kitchen occupied a narrow gap barely two meters across between the corner edge of a huge vertical deck plate and a structural support beam. The smaller and fewer common structures are constructed from wood instead of synthetics. With no signage on the building required, the delicious scent of food coming from within is all anyone needs to know. An inadequate number of small tables and chairs were positioned just beyond the counter where patrons received their meals. The stove beyond was shrouded in constant steam with the occasional plume of flame erupting into the hood above the outlining the cook's profile. A tall figure with two mechanical arms and other various implants growing in the mist, Zeb X was without a doubt Arvin's best friend. Is this a robot serving him? Sounds cool. You know, in real life, I used to feel like a robot serving people when I worked at Jack in the Box. You know what I mean? And in the deli section. So it's pretty realistic there. Zeb X lost both of his arms in an industrial accident and had cybernetic limbs installed as part of his settlement with his former employer. Damn! He spent all his credits on additional implants, became addicted to body modification, and aggressively seeks to achieve the purity of form. Believing that it was fortunate that his friend expanded all of his wealth, Arvin was relieved for the moment that he could not pursue additional surgeries. <laughs> wow, so this dude is pretty much, what's it, an android? He's android. Arvin found the broken and usually unoccupied chair leaning against the wall, snatching it up and unfolding it in a single motion, motion of flare. He produced his lucky chunk of titanium from his pocket and weighed, and weighed it into the gap under the leg and gave it temporary strength to support him. He smiled satisfied. Whistled a few notes while plopping down into the seat, leaning back as if to tempt fate and locking his fingers together, cradling the back of his head. He noticed several people waiting for seats scowling at him. That happens to me with some frequency, Arvin thought. Ha ha ha, the early bird gets the worm in the metaverse. All right, let's just check out this picture. You know, this gorgeous, super, super cute background, of course, as usual. But look at the little robot man. Well, I guess that the the star will not, the pixel not. Duh, come on, single player. The pixel not. Check out the pixel not. Zeb filled a bowl of steaming porridge for Arvin before emerging from the kitchen. He knew that Arvin didn't have two credits to rub together. Zeb offered the bowl to him before he could reach out and accept the gift of nourishment. Zeb began to mutter under his breath, Alone is alone. Ooh, man. Ah, loans. Oh, jeez, Louise. I know, I know. If, if I eat it or fly away in it, Arvin's hunger made his reply sound impatient and a little uh, exasperated. Zeb moved the bowl quickly away from Arvin's outstretched hand. Oop. Some of the liquid spilling over the rim onto the floor. He gave the hungry pilot a stern look, laughed loudly with a bark, and gave him his meal. He must have barked like this. <laughs> Here goes your food, bro. Cool, look at that cute thing. Oh, is that the end? Join the conversation on the official Discord of Telegram. I think that's the end of episode one. Okay, that was super cute, man. All right, I like it. Now, my my little mini review of the first Pilot Tales Change of Fortune episode one. Okay, that's cute. So we got Arvin here. Arvin seems like he a broke gambler, but he out in the metaverse in space doing what? I don't know. The missions is going to begin, but I know one thing. He hungry, and he's starving, and he probably waiting on these gains to fulfill his urge and his thirst and his hunger. You know what I'm saying? These gains, maybe he'll gain some weight. All right, so we got a dude here that's in, is in, that Arvin is impoverished. 
and he has to work for money. Hmm, sounds like a lot of millennials that I know, including the one named single player NFT gamer. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for listening. Uh, make sure you share this out, hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed, man. Because during this bear market, what I do to to hodl, to hodl, to hodl is I see what is actually going on in the investments I invested in. And I just keep reiterating to the facts, yes, this is a down market, but it's most likely going to go right back up and actually surpass where it was at before. So that's why I love to go. I am, Okay. Trying to say, I love the fact that Starl is updating us. Thank you, Starlink, because I need this. This solidifies my investment the more I read. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.